Good day everyone and welcome to Silverfish Tutorials. Today I want to go through with you how the input-output system in Source works. The input-output system is the system that enables entities in the game to speak to one another. So for example when something happens with one entity, let's say we have a button entity, when that button is pressed an output from that entity can be sent to another ent entity, like for example an NPC that sets that NPC to zero health, which will kill the NPC, for instance. And that's actually what we're going to do in this tutorial. So, first off, there are two kinds of entities. There are point entities and brush entities. First we're going to create a button, and a button is a brush entity. So select the brush tool like you normally do when you create a geometry in the world and then you create a piece of geometry like like usual and then you select your brush, the brushes, you can select several brushes if you want to you press Control T this will tie the um, brush to an entity and then from this list you can select an entity that you want to, you want to tie it to and I want it to be a funk underscore button this will make a button out of it. And then I just hit apply. And then up here you see we have the outputs and inputs tab. Tabs. In the outputs tab you specify... You send out commands to other uh, entities, like... When the button is pressed, what's going to happen to what entity. And in the inputs tab you have all the inputs that you're getting from other entities. So when I tell this NPC to set his health to zero and I look at the inputs tab for this NPC I will see that uh, from this button the, the when the button is pressed this entity will set his health to zero. So first let's add an output. My output named on damage you can you have a bunch of outputs if you want to, to happen when the button is damaged or when it's in or when it's out. Right now I want to use it when it's pressed. Target entity is named. Oh we don't have any entities. Of course we need to create the actual NPC that will be that we will be setting his health to zero. So select the entity tool right there and then down here you type in what uh, entity you want. I already have NPC underscore citizen there so I'm just going to add him. And everything you want to use the input-output system with, or more like everything you want to be able to take inputs or take outputs from other ent entities, need to have a name. So I select him, press hold alt and press enter, and then I'm going to give him a name. I'm going to call him Guy. Quite simply. A Guy. And then I open up the properties of our funk button again go back to the outputs tab, we still have our output here, you can see that this output is broken uh, because there is a red line over the output icon there so let's, okay, unpressed uh, our entity called guy and then in this third box you add uh, what is going to happen to this uh, entity and we want our guy to set his health to zero so we, you, you can just look through this list and see if you find something. So if I wanted this guy to you know, ignite, I, want, would, I would select ignite. Actually, let's try ignite. I want to put him on fire instead. That's more awesome. And here down here you can add a delay. And um, this last box here is for if we would use set health, we would set the health like 10, or in this case if you want to kill him, just set it to zero, or whatever, you know. This is just for the extra element, if there is something extra that the output needs in order to work properly. But let's go back to Ignite, because that's much more awesome than kill, just killing him. And there you can add a delay if you want to. I don't want a delay, so... I want him to Ignite as quickly as possible, because... Yeah, that's awesome. And just for demonstration, I go back to the guy, and go to his input tab, you can see... Funk button, unpressed, Ignite. And that's the input he, he is getting from this button. So now we have everything set up. When the button is pressed, the guy will ignite. Let's go through that one more time. I have an output. Notice that it's not a red uh, line over this anymore. My output named unpressed, our entity called guy, will ignite. And there is no delay. Let's just compile this map and see how it looks in the game.
As usual, I cut out that compile time there. Let's just hit this button and see him uh, light up. Button. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, he's on fire. Will he die from this? I hope he will. He's getting black. And there he goes. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I haven't ever done that before. <laughs> that was cool. So anyways, that's about it for the inputs-output system. I hope this has shed some light on how the in the um, entities work together. You don't need to know m much more than that to be able to put together their more advanced stuff. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you want more tutorials. Just subscribe right here above. If you have any questions or anything else you want to tell me, write in the comments below. And I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks a whole lot for watching and I hope you have a magnificent day. See ya next time.